Fine. This is Dan Lopez de Sa, and uh, this joint work with uh, John Horton. So we are going to present people and places. So this is a follow-up somehow to the paper that we presented uh, last year. Good. So restaurants, um, as we see it, are typically pieces of real estate buildings or proper parts of buildings or aggregates or parts of buildings, pieces of land. Also other restaurants and traveling restaurants all are material objects. Same goes for other establishments like shops, banks, schools, and hospitals. And the same goes for geopolitical entities such as cities and countries. Admittedly, we will go back to this uh, observation at the end, our terms for those places are sometimes also used to denote associated groups of people, but as long as they are understood as places, um, we take them all to be material objects. So the part for this paper is to defend this straightforward form of reduction is about socially significant places from three main opposing arguments in the literature. The arguments, so this is mainly a defensive paper. So we will not be arguing in favor of reductionism, but that uh, we will be defending the view from these three arguments to the contrary. So one is the argument from creation, elimination, and re relocation, according to which there are temporal and moral differences between these entities and their territories or premises. Coincidence, according to which two such places can exactly especially coincide, while no two material objects can do this. And third, disembodiment, according to which, unlike material objects, geopolitical entities and establishments can be disembodied. So first argument, creation, elimination, and relocation. So as I was saying, there, uh, the argument goes, uh, there are temporal and moral differences between socially significant places and the territories or premises having to do with the creation, elimination, and relocation of geopolit geopolitical entities and establishments. So Robin, for instance, uh, illustrates with France. France is, he claims, not identical to its current territory since the former could be relocated or eliminated while the latter stays put. Well, Coleman recently sees the same thing about an example that we will be going back later on. Restaurant Titanic is created, he says, with the stroke of a pen on a lease, given, given a suitable uh, background social conditions. When a certain building is leased in a Viverton um, is located later with another stroke of a pen, when another building is leased in Hillsboro and may finally be eliminated when the latter lease expires, all while leaving the relevant buildings intact. Our reply is that restaurants do not literally come into existence instantaneously, move between neighbor towns or cease to exist by mere decision. Rather, with the stroke of a pen on a lease, what happens is that a sort of building is assigned the previously unoccupied social role of being the Titanic restaurant. And with another stroke of a pen on another lease, the same role is later transferred to another building. And when the latter lease expires and it is not renewed or replaced, the role of being the Titanic restaurant is again left unoccupied. Accordingly, the expression Titanic is an unrigid role term that flexibly denotes different objects, different buildings, in this case, at different times and possible worlds. At the end of the story, we can point to either of the buildings mentioned above and truly say that place used to be the Titanic. Similarly, uh, with, sing with singular individuals, so head waiters do not literally come to existence, instantaneously move between neighborhood towns or cease to exist by mere decision. Rather, with the stroke of a pen on a job contract, a certain person is assigned to the previously unoccupied social role of being the Titanic's head waiter. With another stroke of a pen on another job contract, the same role is later later transferred to someone else. And when the latter job contract expires and is not renewed or replaced, the role of being Titanic's head waiter is again left unoccupied. 
Accordingly, the expression head waiter at the, at the time is a non-rigid role term that flexibly denotes different people at different times of possible worlds. And at the end of the story, we can point to either of the people mentioned above and truly say that person used to be the head waiter at the Titanic. Good. Father remarks similarly for Bell, London, France, and uh, the rest of the examples. So thus, uh, place names we contend are non-rigid, or as we uh, might also call flexible. They often assume rigidity, looks to us as being an over generalization from ordinary personal names like Sol Kripke. Uh, it may be tricky to give a non-circular criterion for being the French territory, but compare with other expressions like Earl Russell, the Werner Russell Professor of Philosophy, the Flying Scotman, or Air Force One. Um, there are uh, further couple of uh, um, remarks. There are also rigid uses of the relevant place names. So we can truly say the Musée the Musée d'Orsay used to be a railway, railway station. Similarly, as we can also say, the President of France used to be uh, an, invest, uh, an investment banker. And there are also abstract uses denoting uh, of, of those expressions denoting the role itself. Accordingly, for France to be created, it is for the territorial role to be first assigned, and for it to be re relocated is for that territorial role to be reassigned, and for the France to be eliminated is for the territorial role to be vacated. Similarly, for the single, for the for the ordinary individual case, compare uh, the Prime Minister of Turkey was abolished. Further complication. So consider that we say. As it, as it seems, we can truly say we went for dinner to the Titanic a year ago, but it was still in uh, Beaverton. Then we went to the same restaurant again last week in Hillsborough. There we do, do not uh, seem to be referring to the role, given that the, uh, our role is uh, we cannot go to the role. Um, so the the our reply, and again, this is something that we that that, that similarly we. Uh, argue in, uh, last year in the case of, uh, uh, when defending a corresponding claim in the case of social groups, uh, we claimed that, the, that we contended that the expressions of the form DS and the, the same F are not always used to express numerical identity, but may instead be used to express type identity relative to a suite of natural oscillian typology. So consider this is the same fruit as that, while success, successfully, successfully, demonstrating two numerically distinct apples. Or over a century and a half, after the US president was first impeached, the same head of state was impeached for the second time. So uh, Hume made uh, famous similar observations uh, with respect to two otherwise similar, dissimilar buildings uh, that serve as the church building of a certain parish. Uh, he got that may rightly be called the same charge. Wiggins made similar remarks. Um, so uh, we are not uh, alone in uh, making the, the, this point that seems in any case well taken. Good. So now let's move to the second argument uh, that we want to defend relativists from coincidence. So they, according to the argument, two geo geopolitical entities can exactly especially coincide while no two material objects can do this. So consider an implementation of this argument by Fanny Wagen concerning, uh, so despite the current special coincidence, the city of Washington and the district of Columbia DC cannot be identical, he contends, because DC was much larger than Washington before 1971. This incorporated Georgetown before then, whereas Washington did not. And Washington is a city, he says, whereas DC is not. And there are very similar uh, examples in the in, of implementations of this kind of argument in the literature with the city of Hamburg, federal state of Hamburg, and beyond. Our reply again is that in each of these, similarly, that in each of these cases uh, features that each of these cases features two different territorial roles with one and the same material occupant. For instance, there is a certain aggregate of land and infrastructure that currently serves as both Washington and DC, 
although the former role had a different and much smaller occupant before 1971. Similarly, in the case of ordinary individuals. So Bani Wangi himself simultaneously served as both the joint cardinal high professor of philosophy and the president of the Society of Christian Philosophers between 1910 and, nine, and 2010, sorry, and 2013, although different people occupy those positions at different times, at other times. Um, with respect to DC is not a city, to the extent that it sounds right, that it sounds true, uh, that seems to concern the role. Uh, being the territory of DC does not involve being a city as evidenced by the fact that before 1971, it was the occupant of that role was not a city. Compare the major of DC is not affiliated with the Catholic Church. Uh, that seems to, con to the extent to which it sounds true, seems to concern the role. Uh, being the major of DC does not involve any affiliation with the Catholic Church, even if the current mayor is indeed Catholic. For the argument, um, suppose that the Titanic restaurant shares its premises with late night bar, the last resort, and the Titanic closes at, tea, at, at, at 10 p.m. each evening while the last resort opens at midnight and stays open until dawn. Then someone who knows all this might still reasonably say, I often go to the Titanic, but I never set foot in the last resort. Our reply is that the customer's claim is best understood as an instance of uh, metalinguistic negation. She has in fact been to the building that is the last resort, but never because it was the last resort, but, it, but rather because it was also Titanic. So she was, uh, would, she denies it's not the truth in her mouth of I've been to the last resort, but rather is appropriateness. It would be inappropriate for her to express herself in that way, as doing so could easily mislead her audience about her motives for visiting the premises in question. Similarly, uh, once again, in, this, in the uh, individual case, so even if our customer knows that the Titanic waiters all moonlight as the uh, last resorts by tenders as well, she might still reasonably say, I often tip Titanic's uh, waiters, but I've never tipped the last resorts by tenders. But the linguistic negation again, she has in fact tipped the people who are the last resorts by tenders, but never because they are the last resorts by tenders, but rather because they were also Titanic wait, uh, wait, waiters. Um, which she denies is not the truth in her, her mouth of I've tipped uh, the last resort by, ten by tenders, but rather the, its appropriateness. It would be inappropriate for her to express herself in that way as doing so could easily mislead her audience about her motives for tipping the people in question. Good, so finally, the last uh, argument that we wanted to consider against reductionism about places. So like material objects, some places can be disembodied. So a recent uh, statement, uh, a recent implementation of this argument is by Corman uh, in this paper that we have been considering, um, consider a hat store by the name of Akertera, which is about to close its one building in Bloomington and become an e-store conducting all its business through its website. Excuse me. So our response is that the role of being the Akhetera store will cease to be occupied by any particular building. If no other material object occupies that role afterwards, then the, the role will become, in a sense, disembodied. Now, we need not pronounce here on the nature of retail websites whether or they whether they are material or immaterial, whether they can play the same role, the same social role as brick and mortar stores, or even whether they generally exist. Similarly, once again, in the individual case, so suppose that Keter's head of marketing is led off and replaced by sophisticated information technology, the role of being at Keter's head of marketing will cease to be occupied by any particular person. If no other material object occupies the role afterwards, then the role will become, in a sense, disembodied. Uh, we need not pronounce here again on the nature of marketing automa automation uh, software applications, whether the material or immaterial, whether they can play the same social roles as human managers, or even whether they generally exist. Finally, as I said at the beginning, coming back to people. Uh, so as, as, as I said at the beginning, so people, Places names are also used to denote associated groups of people. So at Ketera, the expression Ketera presumably also denotes the associated retail company. Hence, you can truly see that the, at Ketera can occupy the building 
uh, without absolutely implying that it occupies itself. Compare with expressions like the White House or a 10 Downing Street, as used uh, in news uh, reports. So I'm consider also common nouns like club, bank, university, establishment, city, and country. In many occasions, these uh, not expressions are used to uh, denote associated groups as opposed to the places. So we think we think that that when denoting groups, names function as semantical or plural role terms flexibly denoting different priorities of people at different types of worlds. And as I said, this is what we defended uh, last year in this uh, context. Now, this gives rise to, uh, to a, some worries about location. So Corman, in the, in the people we're considering, uh, wonders. So if a cater is anywhere, once it becomes an e-store, it's surely in Bloomington, where its owners and employees are. Yet if the Adketer company is identical or composed to or constituted by those people, then it will be in Taipei next week when the staff are there on vacation. And uh, they are similar. Uh, so Robin says similar things about France, for instance. Now the response that we wanted, that, that we uh, talked about last, last year already and that we want to uh, adopt from uh, Catherine Holly uh, is that we should one should distinguish here between physical and official locations of organizations. Similarly, as one has very the, all the same reasons to distinguish in the case of ordinary um, between uh, phys physical and official locations of individual people. So think of work addresses, tax residences, and voter re re registration. Uh, and Hendrik draws a similar distinction. Good. So in conclusion, so we have defended uh, a rather reductive materialism about socially significant places and their associated groups of people from the three main opposing arguments. These arguments are genuinely vulnerable to parody as we have illustrated by considering analogous arguments concerning socially significant individual people. So these opposing arguments fail to establish that the relevant social groups cannot be occupied by material objects or by groups of people. Uh, and by considering uh, these arguments and the parties, we have offered diagnosis of what goes wrong in these arguments, pointing to certain nuances in the semantics and pragmatics of our social uh, language. So thank you very much indeed.